Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today I've got another review for you. Now, this is on another one of these micro FPVs that I've been doing a lot of, and um, you know, I've been doing it in part because it's you know it's the holiday season, and, and people are looking for Christmas presents and um, you know just different kind of gifts, and so these really are great to kind of get somebody that needs to fly indoors. But you know, I normally don't do an unboxing. This is not really an unboxing, but wanted to show how well this is packaged and really nice and secure. And this is from banggood.com and I appreciate them providing that this for me to review. And But I wanted to show you now, I've already put a receiver on this and this is a different model, but this is how this was shipped to me, literally just kind of dropped in the box. So um, I appreciate things that are properly packaged because these are, you know, a little fragile, especially with the FPV on them. Um, so let's take a look. This is the EX100. This is the Eachin EX100. Now you can get it in the bind and fly or almost ready to fly, which means you add your receiver. Um, they do have FR Sky, I believe, FL Sky and DSM2. Um, so pretty much any, any radio you have, um, with the exception, I think of Futaba, these will work with, uh, but this is going to be one that I'm really kind of anxious to try. Um, it really is laid out much like, a, your standard quadcopter that, you know, racing quadcopter that we fly. Let me get my hand behind here because it's, there we go. Um, you know, you, this is all in one, you know, brushed ESCs and, and flight controller all in one. And so, um, I like how it's laid out. This one is meant for, so, you know, sometimes I just notice. you see, this is a, just a little bit of sticky tape that they put on there to hold down the wires. So when you get this stuff, just give them a good looking over and make sure that they're, everything's where it should be. Make sure that the um, FPV system is not touching anything, any of the carbon fiber as far as the electronics, okay? So, um, you know, it's quite a bit of flex on this. Back arms aren't as bad. The front arms have quite a bit, but, you know, you're not, these are not nearly as powerful as, as um, even the micro br brushless one. So um, these kind of work um, okay, because they're so light, uh, so you don't need a ton of strength and rigidity in them. Um, it does come with an extra set of props. I'll, as you can see, they are not the props that are on it, um, so I don't know why they chose to do that. Probably ran out. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is set up much like low profile, much like our racer, so you're going to mount the battery on top, and it's going to strap right in. Um, it comes with two 600 milliamp, and I don't, here, I've got one here. I've got the other ones on the charger. Um, a single 600 milliamp battery, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, 600 milliamp, one cell, um, and a little micro charger and Velcro for your battery. So um, all kind of standard fare. Um, but I, I can tell you from my experience, which is, um, you know, these, these FPVs, I used to, me and my son, you, you know, quite a while ago used to buy like the Dromana or the um, Traxxas Alias and uh, that were broken or whatever. And we'd buy the, get the flight controllers and we'd build our own little FPV flyers. Um, but I can tell you back then, a lot of the FPV systems that you put on them were heavier and um, these new, especially these e chains are just wonderful. Um, you know, we spent some time yesterday, and I'm going to follow up with that review on the e chain EX95, or is it a QX95, I believe. And that thing is just out of the box, just so much fun and locked in. And um, we were just able to have a blast with it right out of the box. So I appreciate e chain how they build and I'd expect this to be as good as um, the other Eaching products that I have. So um, other than that, you know, let me look here. Let's look here real quick at uh, some of the specs. 
and bear with me here while I pull them up. It's just easier to do it this way because that way I don't, um, we don't have, now there's a lot of pictures, so we go to the bottom. You know, the cool, one of the cool things here is as I look, um, is, you know, it's got little tiny, sorry about that, <laughs> some stuff fall down off the back. It's got some little tiny um, standoffs here. And it's, it just, it's, uh, you know, I'm 46 years old, so I don't want to say cute, but it, it's cute. So, um, but anyways, flight controller is an F3 Evo, which is not surprising. Um, that's kind of standard fare for Eching, at least the ones that I have. Um, 8.5 millimeter, uh, brushed motors. Uh, it has an EF01, um, camera, which is 800 TVL. Of course, it's a CMOS and I believe it is a 40 channel. Yeah, it's a 25 milliwatt 40 channel receiver. So pretty standard fare. Um, so I think, you know, this is, Eching's coming out with quite a few because this is such a pop popular market. And right now I think they, I looked and I think, yeah, it's uh, $63 for one of these, $49.99 if you want to put your own receiver in it. Um, so great buy for what you get. Um, you know, they're, you know, the tiny whoops are so popular and I have one and I love it. Um, I think these kind of fill a void that the tiny whoop, you almost want tiny whoop, one of these, and then your race quadcopter, because this allows you to fly on days that you just couldn't, um, outside with your tiny whoop because the tiny whoop doesn't like outdoors too much, even with the upgraded motor. So, um, Anyways, I hope you guys are getting something out of these reviews. I'm going to do a part two on this, which is after we fly it. We're going to go out and fly a bunch of them today. So thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope you get some time to fly.